Hey everybody, Tim from Workshop 12 here and today we're back on site at Ballon Bay and we have the G37 in here to be able to get the 3D laser scanning in. So what's going on right now is the guys are putting uh, the target stickers all over the dashboard so that we can start doing the laser scanning. This is going to allow us to be able to create plastics going to fit and look like they came from the factory. Um, so we're going to get started here, get the uh, stickers all on the dashboard and then get started with the actual scanning itself. Okay, so what we can see here is we've got the target stickers all over the dashboard and the 3D scanner is doing its work. So essentially it's going to be uh, bouncing lasers off the dashboard there, being able to take a look at all of those different target stickers that are going to give it its kind of its position in 3D space to be able to bring everything together. And it's just a methodic process of just scanning over bit by bit to read in all the data into the computer. So this is a painstaking process to be able to get all of the level of detail that we want uh, on the main faceplate. Uh, that's going to give us ability to be able to come right within, you know, the fraction of a millimeter of uh, the same kind of fit that we'd see from the OEM plastics. Okay, now we have the electronics, the screen, the stereo, climate, all of that stuff uh, removed. So the next step that we're gonna be going through here now is taking these same target stickers that we see on the side, and those are going to go uh, basically in around everything inside of the dashboard here so we can pick up all the different contours, all the different connection points. We've got some connection points here and here that we can probably use to be able to tie in to screw into. There's some that are used down here as well for the bottom of the stereo. And what the factory screen does is it actually kind of hooks in to these ones to prevent it from pulling forward from the top. So those are some different design points that we can probably use to be able to make everything work in here. So uh, next step is getting those, uh, those target stickers in place. All right, so now we're into the last phase of the 3D scanning, and that's making sure that we have all of the backsides of all of the dash trim pieces. So we've now scanned the surface of the dash, we scanned the inside of the dashboard, and now it's the backside of the dash pieces so that we know how everything fits in place in there. So essentially what we're uh, doing is we're taking each of these different trim pieces, like we have the vent piece here, and we're putting target stickers on the back of them and getting a full 3D scan of each of the individual pieces so that in 3D space we can fit them all back in and take a look at all the different dimensions that we need to deal with, including all the different clips and fastening points that are on there. So that's the last little bit of scanning that we need to do. After this, all we're going to do is essentially put the car all back together um, and that should finish up the session. So we'll finish off the scanning and then we'll give you a, kind of an update afterwards. All right, just wanted to confirm, uh, we did try out the uh, Galaxy Tab A10.5 inch tablet. Looks like it's gonna fit well inside of the dashboard. Um, it's kind of a good balance of performance and affordability. We don't wanna put a too expensive a tablet in there. Uh, most of the feedback that we get from everybody is that they want something that's reasonable, um, but it's good performing as well. So we find that these uh, the Tab A's are pretty good for that. Uh, so it is confirmed that should fit uh, well in the dashboard and we'll be using it as the template. So one of the things that we are dealing with is trying to figure out how we handle things like these silly crazy little OEM pressure clips on the side for the different vents. Uh, they're on the, both the inside and the outside of these different vents being able to make those work in the new design. So we're trying to figure out exactly how we're going to handle this main piece, how we deal with these vents, how we're gonna position the tablet in there, being able to have our magnetic faceplate come off and how all these connection points work because this main piece goes in with some pressure clips on the top that are attached to the actual vent holders. And then they've got two, uh, 
uh, two different little posts on the bottom that are actually attached to the actual climate or the, not the climate, the, the control panel that comes in here. So there's a few different mounting holes and things that we're starting to take into account. So a lot of the stuff that we're doing is we're plugging things into the car, taking a look at different ways that they sit in there, how we can create bracketry and panels to be able to hold everything in place. So a lot of kind of reverse engineering and some brainstorming going on here uh, that we'll kind of pull together in some different illustrations to kind of show our concepts of the who, what, where, why, and when that we're trying to do things. I know a lot of people are talking about the recess of the tablet, how forward, how backwards it needs to be, and all these things have to kind of be taken into account, figuring out how we're gonna do the design of the plastics. All right, so that is a wrap here for the day. I think we've got everything all finished up. We're just doing the final assembly, putting the dash pieces back in there, and we are good to go. So next phase is we're gonna be doing some different illustrations to take a look at some of the different ways that we might be able to design the plastics. Uh, and then once we've gone through that, we get into the actual 3D modeling of things. So we'll be doing some of the different illustrations and being able to share that with the community, get some feedback. Uh, I know some want things really recessed, some people want them uh, uh, much more forward. So we'll go through and take a look at what's going to be our best compromise to me to we'll make something that's good for everybody. Uh, so thanks a lot for joining and uh, we'll see you in the next video.